Hello, Dean. How are we? Hi, Tatiana. Great. I love your background. Thank you. Thank you. Marcel and I are just hanging out, having a good time. <laughs> um, and I must say, of the innovations that have taken place over the last seven or so years, uh, the tennis ball car from a bug <laughs> is truly incredible. Who came up with that? How did this occur? Tell me Marcel's trajectory here. Yes, he certainly has upgraded his vehicle. Um, <laughs> he, uh, uh, the, the tennis ball came about because once we we made this movie in a very unique way and we did all the audio writing and audio recording first, and then we started storyboarding. And when you start storyboarding, um, you, you, Kirsten Lepore, the animation director, and I storyboarded the entire movie ourselves. Mm -hmm. And when you're put in that position, you're suddenly like, oh, wait, this scene takes place in the living room and that scene takes place outside. How does Marcel, you have to figure out all of these solutions because you are essentially Marcel trying to figure out how to get around this huge house. Um, so I'm pretty sure the, te the tennis ball rover came about uh, as part of that process. I want to say that Nick Paley, our co-writer, came up with it, but I, 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 part of what's really lovely about the way we made this movie is like, I couldn't tell you what I wrote or what, you know, uh, Nick wrote or what Jenny wrote or improvised. It's, um, it's all a, a soup of collaboration. <laughs> I love that. I guess the only things that maybe you would be able to lay claim to are some of the lines that are 100% like lifted from the original shorts, which every time I heard it, I was like, scream. Um, so <laughs> were there any lines or moments that you guys from the start were like, that has to still be there. We have to have this. Uh, the, from the originals? Yes. I don't remember, but I know that the Z's, standing on the Z button gag is like one of my proudest achievements in comedy. <laughs> and so I really wanted to reuse it. <laughs> um, but uh, but no, but I think it was important to us that we sort of rewarded, um, you know, dropping a few Easter eggs, rewarding the people that were fans from the original videos because, uh, you know, they're the, they're the whole reason this exists. We wouldn't have the opportunity to make this into a, a full length feature without um, Marcel's fans. Oh, I love that. Yay. Um, also thought it was great that you get to really be a character in it with like a whole story. Like obviously you were always there, but you know, yeah. now, now we can't avoid you. So yeah. who, how did that come about? How did you got, flesh out yourself? I got better agents. Uh, I, <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I, um, I, I don't consider myself an actor and I don't really like being on camera. Uh, and it was always part of the, the the story of the film when we pitched it that my character would, you know, that it was kind of a buddy comedy mm -hmm. and uh, my character had his own little mini arc. Um, but but it, but I didn't intend to be in front of the camera until it was clear the story required that. And then, you know, my producers twisted my arm into being in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's so kismet, of course, because both you in reality and fiction are like, do I need to? So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I loved it so much. And also, I don't know if I'm like amazed or upset that y'all made me cry. I did not think that Marcel would do that. So <laughs> thanks, I guess. <laughs> it is so funny with this film, people keep coming up being like, I cried. And I'm being like, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good for you then. You did what you set out to do. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you so much.